Hey guys, Cal here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be Town Hall 13, Sneaky Goblins. Now we are rocking the normal composition of just, uh, what is it? 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14, oh wait, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 Super Wall Breakers, the rest Sneaky Goblins. We have the one Jump Spell and the rest invisibility spell. If you don't want to use um, your CC reinforcements, I would bring a few more jumps, maybe one or two, but I do, I am liking the one jump and just refilling this jump. We have the flame flinger in case we need to open up walls, but we also have the wall wrecker because it can serve as another wall breaker if needed. So this is going to be Probably this last or second to last Town Hall 13 Sneaky Goblin video as my queen is maxed and my king is one more level away as well as my royal champion is one more level away uh, after they finish their current upgrades. Meaning that we won't really have much to do here on Town Hall 13. Uh, so... That means we probably will be pivoting off 13 and probably going down to 12, doing some Electric Dragon farming. But because I haven't seen the poll, I can't see the poll on my phone and I haven't really used my computer in a very long time. So hopefully if I can see the poll of what people want the, the super rushed account to kind of end on. Oh, I didn't make it. That sucks. Um, but I think I might push it to 14. And we might do some Town Hall 14 farming. Fixing the Town Hall 14. Doing a lot more videos on that. But we might also just try to max out a Town Hall 12. Or we can push this one to 14. Is kind of the thought process I'm having right now. But because we are coming to the end of this Town Hall 13 Let's Play, not much of a Let's Play, or just like, the, the, not the end of the life of this account, but the end of the Hardcore Dark Elixir farming, it'll be more just warring with it and slowly upgrading defenses, slowly maxing this one out to have one Town Hall of each uh, level. Kind of it's the goal. Of course, we have a ton of 12s and 11s, because I don't really see the point of having anything below uh, 10. It just seems pretty easy to get there. And uh, with not much... It seems uh, the the rule of thumb when it comes to like viable Town Hall levels, it seems like it's just the top three. So when Town Hall 16 comes out, it'll be 16, 14... Uh, 16, 15, 14 will be the the good town halls to be at and everything below will kind of it won't become obsolete i don't want to say that for people that do enjoy the lower town halls it's just that through the introduction of new troops and new mechanics like siege machines and probably the new troop that they introduce unless they're going to be introducing more troops kind of like the the warden apprentice and um headhunters there, it's most likely that these new troops will kind of break the game in a way that won't really... Oh, I missed that one. Uh, that won't really affect Town Hall, the like higher Town Halls, but will really break the lower Town Halls open. Um, so it just makes it easier to kind of deal with those. Or if you are a competitive player... Um, I'm thinking of like Clash with Eric. If you don't know who that is, check him out. He does a lot of competitive content. But unless you're doing that, there are usually like cups for each town hall. So unless you're planning on doing that, it seems that having the lower level town halls aren't quite necessary. But I digress. We will be talking more about the farming here. Just kind of sniping out this Dark Elixir as we push towards um completing our heroes we have one book of hero from i believe it's the uh the track the free one you get for completing 
uh, the month, you get one free. And I believe that will put us to a level 74 king, which we can drop. And our royal champion is currently going to 19, which I didn't know it stopped at 20. I thought it would go a lot more. Where is the dark elixir? Ooh, all down here. I'm just going to use my queen. But... Actually, I probably shouldn't have used my queen. Let's, uh... Let's try to snipe out this town hall before the queen takes care of everything. Because I don't really want my queen to die, but it looks like they're... You know, I'll drop the warden here. <laughs> to hopefully be able to protect the queen. Okay. Oh my god. Come on. No. What was it hitting? Oh, it was hitting the queen. Man, this person is trapping up their bottom. They like knew I'd be doing this. So it looks like our queen is definitely going to go down. And boom, we did take it out. But because of the fact that this is going to be uh, one of the last ones, we're not going to be pushing too much on this one. I think we're going to drop it back down a little bit. As uh, we might just do a little bit of elixir and gold farming, which is better in the lower town halls as there are more dead bases. Um, whereas dark elixir is better the higher up you go because there's... A, not to say better players have more Dark Elixir, but more developed players will have more Dark Elixir because they'll have upgraded drills. And the even higher up you go, the less protected those drills and collector storages are. Um, as they don't really care about it. Usually people up here are war attackers who value their heroes, so by the time... Uh, their heroes are maxed out, they start maxing out other things, and they don't care too much about their Dark Elixirs usually on the outside, just like this. So, uh, let's just snipe this one out. A little 5k, not the most, but definitely not nothing. Enough that we do enjoy taking it out. But... Um, the reason why I want to keep things at lower town halls, or like kind of not keep pushing things higher and higher, is if you have been a part of the clan, which it is open to everyone, um, I'll flash it after this match, but because a lot of the people in the clan have a very similar mindset to me, of kind of just not caring too much about defense, we have a lot of... Uh, bases that don't have a lot of defensive strength, which uh, when you have a whole clan of it, it makes it quite difficult. Not difficult to win wars, but it makes it uh, more risky as the town halls you go up against are usually higher than yours, um, but have worse offense. So it becomes quite difficult for you to close out uh, wars against stronger players. Thus, I want to kind of have these uh, bases for maxing out so that we can have some more defensive pressure when it comes to these wars, as well as some offensive pressure, um, especially at whatever your top base is. I made a video on this uh, a while back now when I did my first war, and I realized that your top base should really be close to maxed out defensive and office and offensively because if you have only one and they should also have at least two of the town halls so if your highest town hall is 12 let's say you should have two at least two town hall 12s just because if you only have one it makes it so that town hall 12 really has to like three star the other town hall 12 because then none of your other accounts kind of don't really have an, an opportunity to attempt and take back a three star if needed. So that's just some basics when it comes to war composition. Make sure that you give yourself a lot of opportunity, as, mon as many opportunity to three star specifically the top base as possible. So, uh,. Having a lot of that top one is better than having very little of that top one. Oh, are we going to mess up here? Oh, I think we are. Oh, it looks like it, it doesn't matter too much. Going to be wasting uh, quite a few invisibility spells there, but uh, it looks like we will close out this one. Boom. 
as we keep on rambling about war composition. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna keep on chugging here. Only have 66 uh, sneaky goblins left. Gonna keep on pumping out these jump spells. And oh, I forgot to flash the war, uh, the the clan. So we'll just flash that really quick. It's only ca just cows on farms. We are at 30 members, plenty of people here, subscribers, as well as people in the comments that uh, just want to come and hang out, and definitely you can too. Just say YouTube and you will be accepted. I will say the donations are quite low because we're all minis, and none of us have one gem donations, so if you need donations, I... Don't want to say don't come, but of course it will be, don't expect too many donations. I usually use my raid medals for donations when it comes to farming and war, so that is uh, one of the reasons why the donations are quite low at the clan. But this one seems like a pretty decent base to, oh I didn't notice all these storages, I thought there was only two here. Oh, we're rusty. Haven't done that much sneaky golem farming. We did do, I guess we did it last video, but we have been, of course, taking advantage of the Halloween event, which gives us those broken lava loon troops, which uh, make us turn off our brain. And I always thought sneaky goblins were easier, but compared to something as simple as the Lava Loon, this does take a little bit more uh, precision and thinking. Yo, where is my Goblin going? Oh, I did not see, man, I did not see any of this. Uh, I'm going to drop the ward in here and we'll pop the ability. This is to kind of get us through any traps that will be there. Yep, and never mind, there's spring traps. Uh, I do think that it is good that the warden doesn't, uh, oh no was not paying attention been rambling too much we'll just take the L here <laughs> messed that one up pretty bad but I don't like that the warden can't can't protect from springs but I do understand the importance of that making it so certain so the defender has opportunity to spring things like hog riders but I thought it would be pretty safe there but that's why you always do one test sneaky goblin rather than a lot of sneaky goblins. But we're gonna end on that silly one right there and uh, see how many attacks we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Only six attacks today was a bit uh, aggressive, I guess, with my sneaky goblins. But um, yeah, got a ton of dark elixir. We got eight plus six, 14, uh, 25, 30, 40, 45,000 dark elixir in 12 minutes so pretty good and yeah we're getting pretty close to a thousand subscribers already at 800 much quicker than i thought it would be it looks like at this pace we'll be done in four four months maybe five which is pretty exciting so definitely if you want to support the channel make sure to subscribe and if you want to join the clan make sure to uh say hi even if it is for a little bit uh, no pressure to do much here. We're just going to be warring and have some fun. CWL is just around the corner. So be sure, be subscribed for that CWL content. Unless it's just free attacks and we just roll every single base. But that's enough a rambling for one video. It's already approaching the 15 minute mark. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.